Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival number 27. I'm Tanya June Moore. We are coming to you live from the Sedona Performing Arts Center. And we are honored to have filmmakers in the seat once again with an incredible short doc that has got our audiences talking here in Sedona. Please introduce yourself and your film. My name is Tracy Moore Cruz. Hi, I'm Glenn Thomas Cruz. And our film is It Matters. So and it, I'm sorry, but it's a narrative. It's not oh, it a is a narrative. I'm yeah. sorry, but it deals with a very, very yes. real subject matter Absolutely. in a narrative Absolutely. way. So what's it about so we can catch the audience up? Um, well, in, this, in a sense, the film is about like what's going on, what we saw in 2020 with regards to uh, Black Lives Matter, Asian Americans being um, targeted for a pandemic. And in a sense, I think you're right that there is a documentary element to it because it is a conversational um, movie about with two Asian Americans discussing race uh, in, a, in a fictional setting as to a statement that their pub, uh, production company wants to release in, in lieu of what was going on with George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement. And it was essentially came out of me hearing these statements from companies, big companies, and what was the reason behind it. And then also it came from my wife um, early one morning, first weekend of George Floyd's death when the protests were just in full swing. And, and she came and I was still half sleeping and she started speaking um, and basically said, you know, in, 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 in succinctly like, you know, they love our athleticism, they love our music, they love our culture, they love, uh, they say that we get inspired by them, but yet, they kill us. We're being killed, and how can we change this? And I just thought, I have to write this. And I didn't know, I've never written anything before, so it started with two pages for a class, and it ex expanded to a short film on Zoom. So. That's good stuff. So yeah. you've already screened. Yes. And how was the audience reaction to this? You know, you could feel the audience listening, and I think because we shot this, you know, Zoom and Glenn and I, I mean, we, I edited it and we did the sound, like we did it pretty much ourselves in our own living room mm -hmm. um, on our computers. So, you know, I don't know if it was our sound or the theater, but the sound was a little low and you could just hear the whole audience just listening. And then when there were things that had to be laughed at, or, you know, or should be laughed at, they laughed and they, you know, but it was mostly like just silence and you can just hear. You can hear They're people thinking. hear yeah. and yes. listening to it, which to me just made me, I mean, I feel still very teary right now because um, it was beautiful watching it for the first time on a bigger screen with people who were actually listening and watching and hopefully enjoying it. It's like what you know when an audience is breathing with the film. Mm -hmm. It's so it's in sync. Like the, and I, it's like you could hear the pin drop. drop. If it, it was like I said the show, I was like, oh my god, you can feel this energy. And and then there's a moment where you're allowed to breathe, and you're allowed to breathe, and you're allowed to, and it happens. And I just you know when you feel that in an audience, that just. I mean, when I'm the audience member and I feel that, I'm just like, wow, I, I love it. So seeing that happen, it just, um, yeah, it just made me realize that, you know, I guess we got something and people came up afterwards and someone said something really nice, which was like, you know, I loved it because it's a different perspective from an old conversation of, you know, two Asian Americans speaking about this. And, um, and I just felt that it had to be. Because the first times I did it, I did it with different pairings. And by the end, I was like, no, it kind of has to be two Asian Americans. It has to be a male and female. Um, it has to be two Filipinos. And I think, you know, it has to be about a guy who thinks he understands what's going on, but doesn't really understand it fully, or doesn't realize that there's always more to learn. Yes, mm. absolutely, and to be open about it. Yes. So when is the next screening? The next screening is Wednesday, 7 p.m. at the Harkins One Movie Theater. So make sure you get your tickets for that because this is one that people are already talking about. The buzz is already happening and it just showed this morning. <laughs> so this is a conversation that we want to have and I hope that this gives you the umph and the courage to continue making more films and sharing them with audiences, especially like the audiences here, that will help support it. Yes. So, um, 
best of luck. Thank you so and congratulations much, for being here. Congratulations for getting into this festival. Thank you, I know. This is the Filmmakers Festival and we're proud to have you here. No, it's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah it's you. definitely humbling to be here. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back with another set of filmmakers for you.